It was an afternoon that nearly saw Manchester City's season fall apart, but an unlikely hero stepped up. City were 1-0 down to Aston Villa at halftime on the final day of last season. Liverpool would go on to beat Wolves at Anfield so Pep Guardiola needed some inspiration or the title would fall into Jurgen Klopp's hands. Arsenal set to bid for Man City's Zinchenko. Transfer Center Live. Get Sky Sports. Download the Sky Sports app. During the break, Guardiola turned to his bench. Raheem Sterling was there, so too Ilkay Gundogan and Jack Grealish. But it was Alexander Zinchenko who was picked, coming on for makeshift center back Fernandinho in a reshuffle of City's defense. The build-up and shape of the team needed to change and Zinchenko was the man to help. The Ukrainian international went to left back and dictated the play, making 13 carries in the second half and setting up Rodri for City's equalizer to make it 2-2. City, who suddenly looked more fluid, went on to win the game and the title. Sterling and Gundogan would join Zinchenko off the bench and make more noticeable impacts in the final third, reducing the latter to unsung hero status. As that looks like it could be his last match in a City shirt, it may just be a fitting end for Zinchenko, who rarely stood in the Etihad Stadium limelight. Arsenal are set to bid for the Ukraine international, and given how smoothly the pursuit of Gabriel Jesus went, Zinchenko could well be granted his move to North London. Versatile, technically gifted and reliable are words associated with the 25-year-old at Manchester City, and here's why. Zinchenko has won four Premier League titles at Manchester City, where he fits in at Arsenal. Mikel Arteta has been looking at additions at left-back and central midfield in this summer transfer window. The Gunners wanted Ajax's Lissandro Martinez, who has experience in playing in both positions as well as center half, but he now looks destined for Manchester United. Leicester City's Yori Tielemans has also been looked at but that interest has cooled in recent weeks. There is reason why the Arsenal manager needs support in that role. At left back, Kieran Tierney has picked up long-term injuries in the last two seasons at crucial moments and while Nuno Tavares was signed as cover last summer, the young Portuguese fullback struggled in the big moments and ended up behind. Cedric Soares and Granit Xhaka in the left-back pecking order come the end of the season. Mikel Arteta has been continuing his Arsenal squad overhaul. In midfield, Xhaka is a mainstay in Arteta's team but there is little competition for his specific role. Thomas Partey, Mohamed Elneny and Albert Zambi. Lokongol compete for the same position at the base of Arsenal's midfield, leaving Shaka to a number 8 role. A midfield of Shaka, Martin Odegaard and new. 35 pounds M man Fabio Vieira would represent somewhat of a risk, given two have experience of being number 10s. Should he play in midfield, a role he undertakes regularly at international level, Zinchenko would compete with Shaka at Arsenal, and a closer look at. The irrespective heat maps last season shows that the two play in the same area of the pitch, even though the Ukrainian played at left back and the Arsenal man operated from midfield. On the ball, Zinchenko's passing statistics are superior to Shaka's, but that is to be expected given Guardiola's city keep the ball and use it better than Arsenal. But even then, the Ukrainian earned the respect of his teammates at the Premier League champions for being one of the most technically gifted players in the squad. Asked in a recent YouTube interview about the City squad, fellow fullback Kyle Walker put Zinchenko in his top three most talented teammates players. With the ball, ahead of Kevin De Bruyne, Phil Foden and Joao Cancelo. My top three are Zinchenko, Riyad Mahrez and Bernardo Silva, said Walker. Two touches, head tennis, so good. You're leaving De Bruyne out, Foden, and, Cancelo, too but they don't come close to those three. On top of that, Zinchenko and City defended a lot less than Arsenal last summer, but the Ukrainian international's defensive stats still trump Shaka's. Zinchenko in more tackles, interceptions and challenges in the air than the Swiss midfielder, a reminder that the two players operate in roughly the same area of the pitch. Zinchenko, right, has excellent defensive statistics, even though City attack more than they defend. Shaka wins more challenges in the middle of the pitch than Zinchenko, but that is the Arsenal Mons speciality. 
The Switzerland captain ranks in the top 10 players for winning the ball. If Zinchenko is needed at left back, then there would be no problem with him fitting into Arsenal's setup. Tierney pushes on to a very advanced role, allowing the left winger in Emile Smith Rowe or Gabriel Martinelli to tuck in to support the centre forward. While that differs slightly to Zinchenko's fullback role at City, which is more of an additional midfielder, there is evidence that the Ukrainian can transition quickly. Arteta is looking for backup for Kieran Tierney. In a clip from Manchester City's All or Nothing documentary from the 2017-18 season, Arteta was seen trying to mold Zinchenko into the type of fullback Tierney currently represents. Danilo and Olix have to attack that guy, the opposition fullback, like a winger, for the other side to move outside, said Arteta, who was asked by Guardiolato come up with a plan to get around Arsene Wenger's arsenal. And Zinchenko's statistics from last season show why he would quickly adapt at Arteta's arsenal, no matter which position had play in. With the third, most touches per 90 out of any Premier League player, plus the most final third passes per 90 and the sixth best pass completion rate, Zinchenko shows he wants the ball and keeps it too. Pep's praise for reliable Olix. Zinchenko also fits Arteta's squad in terms of the profile of player he likes. At 25, he is only a year older than Aaron Ramsdale, Ben White, Gabriel Magalhaes and two. Then Odegaard and Takahira Tomiyasu, all of whom have been signed in the past two summer windows. And Zinchenko's profile is very similar to Odegaard's in that he began captaining his country at a very young age. The Ukrainian international became his country's youngest ever skipper at 19 and his four Premier League titles, five more English domestic honors, plus a Champions League final appearance make him an experienced figure, even at 25. Zinchenko's mentality was praised by City boss Guardiola last season. Olex is another player who is so reliable, so he will never forget what he has done these last three or four years playing in a position that is not his natural position, the Spaniard said after he played a starring role in City's 4-3 win over Real Madrid in the Champions League semi-finals. Pep Guardiola has been extremely positive about Zinchenko's reputation. When you don't play your natural position, you are, normally, going to play one or two games but playing seasons not in your natural position, you have to be so strong in your head and in your mind. He will do it every single day. But above that it is not an easy period for Olix, what happened to his loved ones in Ukraine, the citizens. It was a tough, tough period for him personally. Olix is so reliable because he is always focused and is always concentrating. It is incredibly appreciated in the dressing room. Defense is about attitude, it is not about talent. Olix is always there, he is not the fastest one but his focus is there. Reliable is a word that has not been commonplace when describing Arsenal players, especially those with whom Zinchenko will compete alongside for a starting spot. Perhaps that unlikely hero at City is set for his time in the limelight elsewhere.